Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Rod and today we're gonna play a game called Achilles Legends Untold. Uh, the game is supposed to be like a RPG with some Souls-like elements. I guess it's some hack and slash involved into it as well. But we're gonna see. Let's dive in. Usually I'm playing most of the games on the hardest difficulty. So let's give it a try. Let's see what's in here. A great amount of enemies. Very high enemy aggression. Okay, so. Okay, high energy consumption during attacks. This, this is what I'm interested in. Normal speed of per attack animation. So we're gonna be not extremely fast. We're gonna be like, no, archers pose a significant threat. Normal play reaction to hits. High resistance. And what the fuck is this? Archers pose a no. Okay, so basically here is a low reaction, yeah, so we need to be on point with dodges and everything. Note, excellent knowledge of the game mechanics is required of the player at this level. I'm playing games for like 20 years and most of them are on the hardest difficulty, so let's see. Fear is like an unpredictable sea. At times you can tame it, yet other times... It leads you right into the heart of the storm. Helen, the wife of the King of Sparta, Menelaus, was kidnapped. The princes of Troy, who violated the sacred principle of hospitality, are at fault. The storm they unleashed was soon to sweep through the whole of Greece. With wind in their sails, to the beat of the war drums, the sons of Greece set sail, hungry for justice and glory ready to restore honor and to punish the bold Trojans. And among them, Achilles, a fearless warrior whose mere presence filled hearts with courage. A hero of a hundred battles. But this time, even he did not believe in an easy victory. The Trojans made sure of that. A fiery blaze illuminated the night sky, bringing death and destruction. Fear looked the Greeks in the eyes. Trapped in the unrelenting grip of the elements, they had to overcome their fright. Suddenly, one of the boats broke free from the hellish turmoil. Achilles, with Myrmidons at his side, fought his way to the shore. If only he could recapture Helen, the war would be at its end. At least, that's what he still believed back then. I seen Trollite. My brothers in arms, we did not fight through the storm and flames to perish in this wretched sun. We have come here to win, and we shall win when we recapture Helen from the enemy's grasp. Many armies have fallen before these walls. Look for their weak points and for passengers. That is how we shall try to get inside. Cast away your fear and fight bravely. And when the battle's dust settles, the glory of true heroes shall await you. To Troy! Ah! <laughs> yeah, so the battle cry was like pretty lame. His voice is pretty lame as well, you know, for Achilles, I don't know. He could have like a better voice acting, I guess. But fuck it. Let's dive into the game. I need to get to Troy and rescue Helen. That is the only way to end this war quickly. Target locks. Okay. Next page, next page. Okay, so we can scroll. Barbarians. You'll pay for this. Okay, so we have lights. Heavy attack. Oh, this is nice. This is like a lunge attack. Uh, you can do it from sprinting, like you know. Uh, that's a heavy attack, basically. And let's see the light. Okay, the light has like a pretty nice cleave. Okay, so we have like, but this, they they look the same. Basically, if you dodge and click, dodge and click instantly. Yeah, kind of. They look kind of the same. So we have like six attacks, let's say six of them. I'll fight you until the end. 
I'm not planning to do a death lesser run. But I don't know, we can try a deathless run if you guys are up to. Use heal potions to restore. Okay, so tab is the equipment. Okay, so we have here the weapon. We have like a epic shield. The sword is rare. Uh, so I think this is the something like a tutorial area maybe. Okay, we have a bag as well. I guess these are the, the slots for, you know, consumables and shit. Mm, exploration, why we can break this? Yeah. yeah, breaking objects is pretty satisfying. I uh, enjoy breaking objects and sometimes can be extremely rewarding. Depend depends a lot on the game, like. You sprint, run, must much faster. The thing is, my energy bar is not not consuming, so this means like we can attack, we can test, like I guess. But in the same time, it's shit. If I could attract the Trojans' attention, it would give my men time to find a passage inside. I will challenge their commander, and if he is in his right mind, maybe I could convince him to give up Helen. I just need to get to the gate. Let's move on. So we have dodge. Yeah. If you press twice, we're gonna dodge roll it. This is doing a lot of damage. Let's try the. Yeah, this attack is not extremely efficient. Let's test. Like. God. It's him. The heavy it's one, one. The lights. 76. So he can block with the shield basically. Uh, we're gonna test some mechanics and shit. It's, it's it's a bit awkward because uh, Myrmidons fight fiercely, but even they cannot endlessly withstand such a numerous enemy. They are fighting, yeah. It's a nice detail. I like the way he's climbing down. He's just jumping like... Okay. Yeah, so we like just shorten the animation, I guess, so... Yeah. This is a cat like. Okay, so you can pet animals in this game. Okay, it's nothing special. I guess it's it's an achievement, maybe? If we pet all of them, who knows? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of cats, even though I don't mind them. I prefer dogs. Devastating attack. These attacks cannot be blocked with a shield. Use a dodge or a, a roll. Quickly go. Ah, okay. So basically, we cannot. We cannot really block that one. You must be a fool to come here alone. Is it death you seek, Achilles? Or maybe you want to beg for mercy? Hector. I suggest an honest duel. The victor shall decide Helen's fate and put this wall to an end. Helen is under Paris's protection. Are you and your brother ready to sacrifice the lives of your men for her? When the rest of the fleet gets here, hundreds will die on both sides. Why must anyone else die when the commanders can put an end to further bloodshed with one duel? You seek an honorable solution? But there is nothing honorable about war. It's messy and brutal, and history is written by the victors. Archers! On my mark! Okay, so I guess he's the Hector, the bravest of the troll. And I heard he has like commanding some archers as well. 
It looks like pretty slow. Let's see what he can do first. Which is like... Okay. That, is, that looks dangerous, I don't know. Oh, the lunge attack can knock him down. We can interrupt his attack. This is like an easy fight. You can just spam this. Or not really, he can block as well. Ah, so we can... Uh, instead of dodge rolling, maybe... We can see the dodgers. Just crit him. I like I see the... We can see crits, which is like... A, I'm curious... Uh, I'm curious if we can increase the crit chance. Okay, he blocked. Let's, let's end this, because it's like getting pretty, pretty basic, I guess. It is in your hands, kill. Yeah, let's kill him. It was quite brutal. You were right, Prince Hector. History is indeed written by the victors, but your death was not in vain. It will help end this hopeless war. I like the, the finish. I bought my men some time. I need to know whether they managed to find entry into the city. He ended up with a shield in uh, in the his belly, like. Surely I won't get inside this way. Yeah, so this is my first video. English is not my main language, so sorry if I'm uh, if I'm doing mistakes, you know. Commander, I have found a way to the city, not far from here, in the rock cleft. Son of a bitch, ambushed me. Your sacrifice shall save thousands. After the battle, we'll raise our cups in your name. Rest in peace, peace soldier. soldier. Your deeds shall never be forgotten. Wait, wait, because he's not dead yet, you know. <laughs> Rest in peace. He looks like he's very wounded. Uh, in most of the games, we can use potions on them, but apparently we can't interact with him. I guess his wounds are like lethal so we can't really a potion one do shit I think I found the passage this will have to do the defenders prepared for a frontal attack but they did not consider this narrow passage an entire army would not be able to get through it but a small unit would slip through and divert attention I like the transition. I mean, I have to find the way to the upper city. That's where I should find Helen. Nice details like the floating bodies. Build from your scale. Okay. So with all you can like you guys are fighting on the I can't really reach that. Die, you Greek scoundrel! They said the archers are like lethal. 
What the fuck? He just flew. The ragdoll is like funny. He went straight to the moon, that guy. The poor him. See him boys? I'm not a big fan of locking targets. Ah, so we can tank damage. Not a very big fan of uh, locking. Two chubby pigs, they are cute. <laughs> Let's try to get some bacon, but it's uh... okay, I have all archery shoot. Yeah, so locking target is a thing apparently because I just missed that. I think they just combo. Let's see. I think this guy dropped on his knee, raised his shield, and the other guy jumped over. So some guys fighting there. Yeah, I love the lunge attack. The lunge attack is like just a way to OP. Can we help him? No. It's shit because we can't help them, but at least uh, detail wise it's nice because you see them fighting. Well, I guess we need to breach into the main fortress or citadel or however you want to call it. Yeah. I like the ragdolls, you know. I like just flying over. One more wretched dog has slipped inside. Stop him! Okay, so... He hit me while I was doing the line. Here we can switch target. Fifth group. Can block that. So the shield guys are like a bit tricky because sometimes they can block your attacks. But I think it's normal, you know, what can you expect from a shield guy, you know what I mean, so... Now the game feels like pretty smooth. Some of my warriors the combat. Have already managed to break through. Their zeal they give me time to do more the combat is decent. Sorry for... No. For exploring every corner, but usually I'm doing that. You should see me play, playing Witcher 3, the Wild Hunt. On that one I have 826 hours. Just to complete the game like. So, I waste some time on that shit. But even though the game was like beautiful. So I can't really complain about it. I hope this one will be interesting as well. I know the game was like released in November. I don't know exactly when in November. I guess the game was released in uh, in November. So we are a bit late to the party, but uh, I just bought it on a discount, you know, on Steam. So I didn't even knew about it, you know. It just popped up in a in the Steam. But the game looks fine, mechanic wise is like pretty easy. Every single time when I'm saying that, I'm dying, you know. Next thing we know what's gonna happen, we're gonna die now. And imagine dying in tutorial area, because I guess this is a tutorial area, it's nothing like another cat down there. I don't know. I don't know the purpose of the cats, like. Why didn't they place the dog there, you know, because... We can play the racism card. Why the dogs are not in there. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I have nothing against cats, but... 
If it's to choose from uh, in between a cat and a dog, I prefer dogs, you know what I mean? Bro, the ragdolls on these ones are like just insane. I wanna see if he's landing <laughs> somewhere. So apparently we send the other one to the moon. At least his friend won't be alone there. Yeah. Here, if you remember, we saw a... Yeah, yeah so we are like... Let's check the map actually, because we have a map as well, so... Yeah, but this one looks pretty straightforward, I think. You can't really explore a lot, you know. Nothing's here, but we came from here. I, I bet we came from because this is the place where there were like two archers, and we just send them flying by. Yeah, the enemy is running towards the, the palace. palace. Soldiers, Kill protect the, the prince. Protect Whoa. Prince Paris. They are using spears. Apparently spears have like a better range, you know what I mean, so... But they're like pretty... They don't really know how to... Oh. But actually they do. I thought they really don't know how to use the spears, but apparently they are. Which is a potion, oh, it's instant healing. So from half HP we went straight to full HP. What the fuck are these bro? They're supposed they are supposed to be lions, I guess. The game is looking nice, but this is just shit. You just disrespected the lions like. And I love lions, so they could put a bit more effort into really making a proper statue of them. Enough of this madness, Paris. Release Helen. Madness? Look beyond the walls. There you will witness true madness. The madness of the kings who came here with you. This war is nothing but the consequences of your mindless decisions. You have stained the honor of the king of Sparta. The honor of the Greeks. Did you think that this insult would go unpunished? You think that if Helen returned to Greece, it would change anything? You speak so much of Menelaus, yet you failed to see who wanted this war from the very beginning. Besides, if I handed Helen over to that sick tyrant, it would be like sentencing her to death. I came to love her, and I shall defend her until my last breath. Helen knows the truth. This guy is thanking a lot of the Too many people have died because of this war No, I doubt think my choice of playing the game on fucking again. What the fuck is this, bro? This is Paris, basically this is uh, Hector's brother. Oh, this guy is fucking ridiculous. Wait, let me come closer. The amount of damage we are doing. Oh my god. Yeah, I dodged that. What the fuck he's chasing us now? Fuck, we got one. Okay, if we roll, we get... No, oh, I hate, I hate doing potions. And some idiot interrupting me. What was that? Our health suddenly... Our health pool suddenly dropped. Is yes, because we were like set it on fire or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, 
god, he's like not dying this guy. Just die, bro. Dodge this mother. Yeah, yeah, that arrow is like dropping our HP. We need to be careful with that one. Chill, my friend. He can attack them. Can use melee as well. I uh, I hate rangers, hunters, however you want to call them. I need to use a potion because if I'm getting hit again, I'm gonna die. I'm using that one just to dodge some. Uh, Bro, this is a very intense fight. Why? We can manage to cancel. Fucking arrows. That dodge was like. This guy is like, this is the arrow which you wanna dodge because I saw that arrow was like minimizing my HP pool. So basically, bro, but this fight is intense. Hit me again. I hope we're gonna manage to heal. We we are running out of potions. So. Dodge this and try to chase him down. Fucking hell. We are out of potions now. That will be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we are on one HP and we have no more potions. I'm gonna try to be on his back like crazy. Do it again. Let's corner him because apparently. Oh no, he killed me. Fuck. This cannot end like this. Yeah, sorry for that. I thought I was a step away, a step away from ending this war. Doubt, however, struck first. Unexpectedly, it overpowered me. I could feel my strength waning with each moment, and the cold grip of fear taking away my will to fight. Before I regained my composure, I was in the clutches of the abyss. Time and space lost meaning, until finally, that voice appeared inside my head. I guess this was supposed to happen. This is not the end, Achilles. Not yet. Find your new path. The line becomes blurrier and blurrier. A smith. Find a smith. <sighs> Is this possible? Am I alive? That voice. A smith. It doesn't make any sense. Where am I? How did I get here? 
can't be far from Troy. I need to take a look around. Oh, so I guess we were supposed to die here. Uh, I don't know. Is there, there like when you? Re okay, so basically, as soon as we get on this one, if we rest, yeah, if we rest, enemies will will be revived, but we get like fully replenished. Let's see the skill tree. Hey, this is pretty big. This reminds me a lot of games like Path of Exile if you played it. Uh, points everywhere. So let's let's study this a bit. Yeah, so I guess um, we have six stats. Main attributes like we have vitality, strength, endurance, precision, wrath and luck. Uh, endurance it's okay it's called energy Yuri I guess is the mana so yeah uh, energy plus two let's let's think like this let's multiply them by 10 and see like in 10 levels what we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get like 30 bleed resistance. 20 energy and uh, 10 damage. I guess the weapons are scaling with endurance, that's why. So, if our weapon won't scale with de with uh, endurance, we won't get the damage, but we're gonna get like 2 energy and like 3 bleed resistance, which is like pretty shitty. Yeah, I don't know. This is strength. For the time being, strength is just adding one physical damage. So it's not really a lot. But I guess if you, you find a weapon which is scaling better with strength, maybe this will be like extremely handy. Who knows? What else we have here? Vitality. Okay, so vitality is adding 26 HP. And... Uh, Adding like free burn resistance. So vitality seems like the best stat so far. What we can okay, each critical hit will fully restore energy. Okay, that's interesting. Each hit restores a small amount of fury. So basically, if we hit enemies, we're gonna restore mana. I don't know what gonna do with this but we're gonna see and now look additional slot for a special weapon skill so I guess regard all skill ah, okay so we need to unlock all the skills to get this bonus passive like for the time being we didn't really use skills so just so vitality looks like the by far is the best attribute because if you invest like 10 points you're gonna get 30 resistance to burn and basically 260 hp 260 hp is more than half what we have now so i don't know but i think i'm gonna run a full vitality if we i'm not planning to do like a, a deathless run but I don't mind trying, you know what I mean? Being the first time when you play the game is like, you know, it's a bit awkward because you need to get familiar with, with mechanics, you know? So if I'm gonna try to go for a deathless run, we're gonna need to go like, this is vitality, vitality, vitality. All of them are vitality. What's this? You can choose to revive a hero at the location. Of their death for a price. Uh, let's check that small video over there because 
death or 250 something with D, I don't know what. I think it's the currency in game. Death or 250 drachmas, I guess. I think they are drachmas. Well, the currency in game is called drachmas, so basically, if we pay 250. It will uh, revive us. Or maybe it's like a percentage of how much money we have. Because that will be better, you know, because in case we don't have 250 and we have just 100, maybe take like 50% of our money just to use the revive. But on a long term, that will be shit because if we get like on 10,000 drachmas and to die, it will be like 5,000. Which will be shit. So, yeah. What's this one doing? Like a full vitality again. Unfortunately, okay, so we have here drink potions more quickly. I want to go for this for sure. Because you saw, when I tried to drink a potion, that guy uh, Paris hit me, yeah? So he just denied my potion. He didn't even cancel it. He, he denied it fully, you know? So, the potion disappeared from my inventory, but I got it. So, if if we manage to drink more quickly, we're gonna give them a shorter window to attack us, which is like a goal for. This is strength. What I don't like about it is like, you see, you have like some passive shits on this one. Why we don't have passives on this, for example, on the boom? I don't know. This will be strength, full strength from what I'm seeing here. Yeah, it's a full strength build. This is like counter-attacking. Okay. After success, uh, okay. We can do a heavy, I guess. Cold blood. Okay, so for this we require a shield. I am not planning to play shields like shields. I don't know. Are not. I. I don't know. Are, are really not my cup of tea. You know what I mean. So let's stay away from shields for the time being. But anyway, this is strength as well. So if we want to go for extra strength, we can go in into this. You know. Uh, press control. Oh, okay, we have a deflect with a shield as well, so we can deflect things with shield, which is like interesting. Can unlock the deflect pretty fast. I don't. I, but again, I don't want to play a shield, so I don't think I'm gonna focus this. Maybe we're gonna test it later on, but uh, right now I'm focusing on damage and health, I guess. We don't know what Precision, Wrath, and Luck are doing yet, but we're gonna see now, I guess. So, let's go up here. Is like, this is Precision. So, Precision is increasing our Poison Resistance with free. And also increase the damage from precision scaling equipment, but apparently we don't have any precision scaling equipment right now. It's again disappointing because you don't have like a, a passive skill on this. You don't have a passive skill on this. You don't have a passive skill on the bull as well. So the wolf is like kind of useless. Maybe if you want to go for a precision build, yeah, why not? Let's see what it's. This is a precision one as well. Energy regeneration is sped up by 10 if your health is below 30%. Yeah, this this looks interesting, but I don't know if you play it on a lower difficulty, because on, on the hardest difficulty, I'm not really planning to stay below 30% HP, you know, because basically that's make me, making me one shot, you know, so I don't want to get as low as that. Damage dealt is increased by 5. If your health is... 5% is shit, guys. So instead of doing 100 damage, you are doing 105. Who the fuck fought on this shit? 
at least if they were like uh, upscaling it to at least 50% or okay, okay or let's say like 30% not 50 25 in between 25 and 50 was like because imagine you have 100 damage on your weapon and now you are like on low HP and instead of your weapon you know killing as fast as it, it can like the opponent it's instead of 100 is doing like 105 damage you know it's like not really helping i don't know who fought on these things yeah but at least you have some i guess this is good for you know playing on a easier easier uh, difficulty maybe but i don't recommend you to go for this anyway and regenerations is sped up by 10%. It's not really a lot, you know what I mean? So let's see. We have a lion here as well. Hitting an opponent with an attack restores a part of Achilles recent recent lost health points. And they are marked yellow on the health bar. I think I saw that yellow bar which is like suddenly draining. So basically hitting an opponent, this is like giving you more sustainability, I guess. But I can opponent with this amount, amount of fury. Wait, because we had... Yeah, so this is like, each hit restore amount, a small amount of fury and killing an opponent is restoring again, like, an amount of fury. So actually this... Uh, this is quite interesting. I'm curious what skills we're gonna have, you know, during the uh, the gameplay. Killing an opponent restores a small amount of life. This is like very handy. Endurance again. Each combo in each attack in a combo increases the damage dealt. So basically, if you are using a very fast attack weapon doesn't matter the damage is is shit on that weapon but at least we'll build up some damage you know with each attack you're gonna build up damage this sounds interesting i don't know maybe we're gonna give it a try uh yeah so we studied all of these ones okay let's move to the other ones this is luck luck increases the chance of looting items from defeated enemies this is disappointing. If it, like he's doing just that, it's pretty shitty. Like it's supposed to increase your critical chance and maybe bump up a bit the critical damage as well. I really don't know what to say about it. If it's just this, if it's just increasing the chance of looting items from defeated enemies. I think it's pointless. More experience points are received from defeated enemies. This is interesting. But it's not telling us a percentage, so we need to test that shit. A few more experience points are uh, received from defeated enemies. Okay, so... If we rush this in the beginning of the game... On a long term, we're gonna get like a couple of levels, you know, out of the game, uh, out from the game, like increasing, because we can get this one, and if we spend like how many points? Eight. We're gonna get like even more experience. But now depends on what that numbers are. I don't like, I don't like a thing. It's it's just our first look into the do the skill tree but i don't like a thing they the numbers are not really showed because for example i would prefer to know like a few more experience point a few more experience points means like even one percent in between one percent and let's say ten percent fifteen percent maybe twenty a max of twenty and the player will invest into this and he has no clue how much he's bonus XP, extra XP he's getting. 
But I guess investing 8 points in this is not a really waste. Maybe luck, it's increasing your crit chance and crit damage as well. That will be amazing. I don't want to talk bullshit, but I hope it's doing that as well. Let's continue with this. This is a shield. The shield will hit a, a nearby enemy on its way back. So basically you are throwing your shield and on the way back you're going to get an extra damage on him. Extra hit with the shield basically. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm not planning to increase the speed of the thrown shield. I'm not planning to do that. The shield will hit two enemies on its way back. Mm, this is interesting. Increase the speed of the returning shield, okay. I think an enemy with a shield knocks them down. Oh, this is nice. You can maintain the CC on the... Because you knock him down, after that you lunge attack him, you know, you're gonna knock him down again, you're, you're gonna... You can combo the chain this, you know. I guess. This may be like game breaking. Hitting an enemy with a returning shield knocks them down. Oh my fucking god. This is... This is like interesting. Because you can make some plays with this. Imagine you're freeing your shield. This video is like... Not showing you like the full potential of it. Because what, what I'm thinking now is like... You hit an enemy with a shield. You knock him down. You lounge attack him. You're gonna knock him down again. You position yourself behind your dropped shield and you're gonna recall it. You're gonna get dropped again and you can again do the same thing, you know. And as soon as he's dropped... Because now, look. You're knocking him... You are knocking him down in, on the way back. And you can lunge attack that shield. And after that you can squeeze a light attack. Because I saw... I don't know if you saw what I was doing. I was like knocking them down and light attack them. So just to maximize damage, like. Yeah, this looks like an interesting build. I don't know what to say about it. For shield lovers, for sure, this is like... If any of you guys prefer shields, I definitely recommend you going for this. What else we have here? Your Wrath. Okay, so... Wrath, basically, it's adding... It's adding like three more fury. In ten points, you're gonna get like what? Thirty percent more fury, uh, and you're gonna get like curse resistance as well. Curse? I don't know exactly what curse is. That's uh, a thing which we need to see. You know what I mean? Because I don't really poison is like. I guess it's poison, burn is poison, bleed is bleed, but curse may have like different effects. I'm curious if it's a damage over time or maybe it's just a curse, maybe it's like cursing you and suddenly your attack lowers, your resistance are like getting lowered, you know, I don't know. With this one, soul drain, improved drain. Let's see this. Stand behind an unexpected, unsuspecting enemy and use E to drain some of their soul, dealing damage basically. Yeah, but this is an unaware target. So as soon as you use this, you're gonna get into a fight. Occasionally, occasionally, this may. I don't know. I'm not a fan of these things, you know, because. You can use them once per combat, basically, and I'm really not a fan of them. Because imagine, as soon as you use that, he has like four more enemies around him, and what will gonna happen? You're gonna get in a combat with fucking four or five enemies, and till that combat is ended, you cannot use your skill again, you know what I mean? So... Draining an enemy so restore some of hero's health. Okay, so you can restore some HP with it as well. But this is full wrath, which... It gives you like vampire vibes, you know? 
Which is interesting, I'm not gonna say no to that, but... Absorption. Health is regenerated more quickly after drinking a potion. Okay. This may be extremely useful. But... My only concern is I don't want to spend like 14 points into this. Just to get like... Uh, extra sustain on my potions. Let's move on because... We are spending a lot of time on this, but... Being the first time when we see this, is it's... I recommend you to do the same, you know? Go through all of them to have a better understanding of... of your, like, attributes and your skills and... at least you're gonna know what you want to invest into, you know what I mean? Better endurance means, like, more stamina. We know already that... This is full. Yeah. This is full endurance again, but again a shitty one because you don't have any passive on it. What is this? Pony doing? <laughs> I guess it's like a Pegasus or something. I don't know what the fuck is this ancient creature, but this is a wrath build again. I don't know what to say about wrath. We have anything else? Okay, so I guess we covered all the skills uh, and the attributes. The thing is now, I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna... I'm thinking on a deathless run, yeah. Being a Souls-like game, I know it's like a bit... And being the first time when you are doing it, because most of the deathless runs on Souls-like games are like just running by and you already have an understanding of the ga game, you know, the mechanics, you know. No one is doing like a deathless run on a first gameplay, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Because we need to get used with mechanics and... Yeah, I think I'm going to invest into... I'm gonna invest in... I'm gonna r rush straight through this one. And maybe we're gonna invest 11 points into this. So we're gonna have the revive as well. Death defeated. So basically... You are not dying. You are like defeat de defeating death. That's interesting. With this, yeah, maybe I can do like a a no death, a deathless run like. Because we can defeat death with this. And I can try a... Because basically the game is not registering a death if you are like using this. But from my point of view, it's a death, you know. Because you are like, you are like killed by your opponent, basically. Yeah, we're gonna go for this. We're gonna try to unlock this as soon as possible. And I guess we covered all the all the skills and the attributes in this. Luck is disappointing. Wrath. It's a bit interesting, but I don't know what to say about it. Precision. I have no clue. I don't know. If you're gonna find like a lot of weapons scaling with precision, maybe it's a go for. But from my point of view, it's like a waste. What I'm gonna try to do right now, because we are playing on the hardest difficulty, I'm gonna rush Vitality. I'm just gonna rush Vitality and hopefully we're gonna find some decent weapons so we can like do some damage as well. But definitely I'm going to go for Vitality. We have the teleport function. Oh, okay. So this is the map. The maps look, looks pretty big. With plenty of objectives on it. 
and the teleport function is is pretty handy you know to have it from the beginning of the game is like pretty handy because you can just teleport in between them you can farm a bit i i don't plan gr I, i'm not planning like grinding experience you know i'm not planning doing that i will like just go to through the game like i'm gonna explore everything most probably because i'm a completionist but I, I don't think we're gonna grind. We're gonna see if uh, if we feel like we'll need to. Maybe we're gonna try to exploit a bit of game, you know, to get some uh, experience. Did you see any Trojans around? Trojans? I don't recall ever stumbling upon them in these lands. And I have lived here for a very long time. I take care of local necropolises and those who rest within them. People used to pay proper respect to the dead. These shrines, too, they sought strength and solace within them to face the challenges ahead. You should try doing that, too. Reflecting upon one's life can bring meaning to one's death. You look tired and lost. Can I help you somehow? Show me the way to the walls of Troy. I must get there as quickly as possible. With the winds on your side, you will have to sail for a couple of days to reach the walls of Troy. Or rather, to what's left of them. Ten years ago, Agamemnon and Menelaus attacked Troy, causing fear and bloodshed to spread all over Greece. They arrived here too, in Mycenae. No. That's impossible. You're lying. I am not in the habit of lying to others. I try to help them. Tough times we live in, and mutual aid is now a very precious and rare currency. If I'm not mistaken, somewhere here lives a very skilled smith. He remembers the times of war. I'm certain he will help you find your way in this very difficult moment. He can also take care of your equipment because, as far as I can see, it seems to be past its prime. Thanks for the advice. If you really don't remember the last couple of years, Greece may seem different to you, foreign, and you might not recognize your old friends. So we need to search for a smith. The, um, the light attacks are pretty fast. That's what I like about it. I don't know what to say about the... I, I wish they were like leaving a bit more. Because you need to position yourself like pretty... But let's see, can we use... And weapons. We have a shield and a sword, so... Okay. The damage is not like extremely... I don't like getting blocked in between them, because... You can die, that's the way you're gonna die extremely easy. Let's see this. Okay, so this is like a knockdown as well. So the the Spartan kick is like a. Here we can. Yeah. So basically, we can use it with one hand to hand spears and dual wielding. So we have dual wielding as well. I'm a big fan of dual wielding, and in the same time, I'm. Uh... I'm a big fan of two-handed weapons, but I guess most of you are, you know, because if you play any Souls-like game, you know, like the, the dual wielding, it's extremely efficient, like damage-wise. Oh, we got a neck. I like this. 
It looks like it's cleaving a lot. You know what I mean? Let's see the move sets on it. Okay. Yeah, this is heavy. Yeah, this one is like. The only thing is, I need to click it like this. You know, you know what I mean? Because if you go in a combo, you're gonna end up doing this. And the only. Ah, but both of uh, all the all the attacks I think are like hitting with what the with both weapons, like. Try heavy on this guy. The heavy is hitting just with one sword, with one uh, one weapon. Yeah, apparently. Let's do a running. Yeah, but this guy have. Okay, so yeah, if you are doing like a charging heavy, he that's a nice detail. I don't know if you saw he he had a shield. But just by uh, attacking it, we managed to break that shield. I guess it was a wooden shield. Because it sounded like I was knocking on a door. Oh, we, we got go a shield. Can go for here, okay. Let's see what we have up here. Okay, enemies. Okay, so the most efficient one is timing this. If we manage to time these attacks, we're gonna we're gonna fly through this game. I don't know if we're gonna fly through because right now I really don't know uh, what to expect. Usually, I don't prefer staying like this. You're gonna see me potting a lot, you know? Uh, when I'm playing Souls-like games... And I'm trying to say exactly that's what I mean. I'm gonna use potions like a lot. We're staying on full HP most of the time when I'm entering in a fight and all these things. Because uh, for the time being we are trying to do a deathless run. We're gonna see if we'll be able to. Even though I don't really think so, you know, <laughs> I I don't think so. To have like the first run deathless, it's... That's insane. On a souls like game, it's like right, hard. But we're gonna do our best. And by the way, if you guys have any any tips, please let me know. I don't know how many of you play the game. Uh, we need ten bones of the beast. Okay, I think there are some. Uh, Bones of the beast. They are not beasts, they are just skeletons, but maybe they will drop us some bones. These weapons are like so satisfying. I definitely recommend you guys to play like dual wielding. Energy consumption is not very bad with dual wielding. I don't know. 
I bet it can be extremely punishing wielding a two hands what only being in between them but fuck me. That attack is not doing a lot of damage. I see the guys are like... As soon as they attack us, I think they are like... Poisoning us or something? I don't know what that uh, mark is. We have a shield. Like I said, I'm not gonna play shield. If any of you guys gave it a try, please let me know how. But I think it can be worth it because uh, you have the knockdowns with it. But to get into that, it's taking a while. So we need to spend like 10 points just to get to that uh, tree, like, you know what I mean? So I don't know how efficient it is. Uh, what I see, we can stun lock the enemies with by by just attacking them, we can stun lock them. And the light attacks, I'm gonna call them lights. So you're gonna hear me a lot like, what the fuck was that guy doing? But we can get stun locked as well, from what I saw. Yeah, drinking a potion. It's pretty lame. Basically, we use the potion. It vanished from our in, uh, in inventory, but... Fucking hell, I almost died uh, But we got hit it, so... We are back on square one. We were like back on square one. Bro, these guys are annoying. Some of these ones, I need to dodge them. Like, yeah, they have like a one... One to three combo, I guess. Yeah, sorry, I just came back. Uh, the delivery guy was like just uh, lost in time and space. So I had to go. Uh, I, I've been with him on the phone and uh, he just arrived. I, I grabbed the food and I came back up. So yeah, let's, uh, let's continue because uh, we were like... Focusing on this and this now. Yeah. So we're gonna rush the the big gulp. Cause we want like the to drink potions more faster, you know, cause that will save maybe it's a life save uh, I don't know oh let's rest first because we run out of potions yeah uh, rest we took a lot of damage I like Pick the map as well because yeah we missed that one Let's let's kill them and let's try to explore this area, unlock everything, and move on with the with the rest. At least the main quest, you know what I mean? Okay, that was a creep. The heavies are quite decent. Okay. Have this new skill. Uh, what is this doing? 
knocks your closest and closest enemies back. So this is like it's extremely good when we are surrounded by enemies, I guess. That will come extremely handy. Let's see this one. We need ten bones of the beast. Check the bag a bit and see what if we have any bones of the beast. We have five. So maybe if we fight them, we're gonna get that because I'm really curious what the what will that reward us? Yeah, bones of the beast. Yeah, yeah, we are getting like plenty of them if we fight skeletons. Just fighting in between the graves, like. Yeah, let's don't. I don't want to get caught, you know what I mean? So annoying when you... Because the camera... You cannot shift the camera, you know what I mean? So... You cannot shift the camera, you cannot uh, switch the angle of the camera, so... Sometimes... The environment can be your... Uh, your enemy, like... Because look, right now... We are not highlighted... It's it's quite annoying. Okay, we've been there already. What's that guy? Skeleton like. I can't walk here We have two levels already. So yeah, let's check if we explored everything. We need that unlocked first. Let's try to see if we have now enough. Okay, so if you are like defeating skeletons, let's defeat them as well. So Let's check again the shrine. Do I wanna respawn them so we can like finish that thing? Okay, so we can move on with this. We have more, even more vitality now. Uh, the thing is, I wanna loot like more uh, bones of the beasts. You know what I mean? So we can unlock this one. I don't know how I didn't rest it, I guess. Or we can try to fight. Okay. I need to check the drops as well, you know, what they are dropping because health potion. We're gonna have a look in uh, into our, our consumables, but let me get this one first because I'm very curious what rewards we're gonna get for them. You know what I mean? I wanna understand if they are like worth doing. Like anyway, I'm gonna complete them all, I guess. You know, because that's. Uh, That's the main thing I wanna go for. We 
don't loot anything. Let me check the inventory. Bones of the Beast 9. So we need one more. Okay, let's find some enemies now. Food close to me is like making me so hungry. <laughs> but I need to finish this. That's called dedication. Okay, so. Okay, let's dodge out. Locking target is just annoying. I'm leaving it on just to. If I can work around it, oh fuck, I don't want to test it anymore. To be fair. Yeah, because basically, look, I need to position myself in such a way when I'm attacking the enemies in front of me, even if this one is like in a distance, you know what I mean? So, locking target may work like when you are fighting like a single enemy, but as soon as you fight like more of them becomes we have one we got that one so we can go and unlock that and we can move on with this area what's that one yeah. well let's unlock this okay dead answer that looks interesting. I was expecting like some as soon as I'm interacting with it to summon something or to be like a small boss fight or I don't know. But apparently it's it's quite straightforward. We got one skill point. Which maybe we're gonna invest it right now. So we need one, two, three, four, five more points to get done to this. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to gather them in this one. Let me just reset because now we're gonna walk towards the was the the main quest and I was having like seven potions. I know it's not like a big deal, but I don't know what to expect in uh, this game. Like so, I'm getting stronger. Point, let's upgrade it again. Kill three. Let's go for the. Again, we are already on 330 HP. Oh, that's more than enough. Some of these chairs. We have a new shield. Weapons, none. But shields. I see the shields are like very good for damage reduction, but damage wise, I don't know. I see here's like sacrifice to receive drachmas. I guess it's like yeah. So basically, sacrifice. Why I can't do it anymore? Ah, because it's the last one. So basically, you can salvage the items to get a um, to get um, in-game currency, basically. Oh, some humans as well. Bold of you to show up in Myrmidon armor. I remember skinning the last one of them years ago. <laughs> Seems I was wrong. One more traitor still breathing. Seize him, boys. 
But don't damage his armor. Menelaus will shower us with gold for it. See him, boys! Oh, you're running. Uh, he went to the moon straight to the freighter. What was that marauder on about? I don't want to get into loads of fights for fuck's sake. Better loot this chest. <laughs> we are sneaky. Okay, so we got a spear now. Okay, this weapon is 41. Both of them are 41 plus 5, this is like plus 10 damage. I like this shield, it's like a Spartan shield. Not not really because it's like, but it's close to a Spartan shield. But, uh, let's don't, don't engage them, let's see. I don't like this. Already I don't like the spear. I know maybe I'm quasi, but bro, this is like... So you have to, you have to attack like three lights, yeah. So the fourth will be like a cleave. And, uh, let's see the run. Okay, this one is interesting. And this one too. Uh, if you are like, still though, you are like stuck into animation there. You know, you are like jumping and. Leaping like towards them, like while well, you smash your uh, spear into the ground. But this one is like this one looks decent. This one looks like a nice cleave. Yeah, you can hit them both. It would. But, I like how the guys are like cooperating. That one was kneeling. So uh, the other one jumped over. That wasn't actually that's nice, you know, to see the the AI cooperating like that. That in the same team, so you saw that? It was like quite, quite nice. I like to see these small uh, small details on a game, you know, it's like making the game. Small is about the small details in a game, I don't know. Oh my god, the amount of damage is like so shitty. I guess most of the attacks were like blocked. Yeah, we forgot to use this. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Archer over there. Again, I'm saying like, I want to go for the main quest, but I'm getting distracted like... Get him. Yeah, he squeezed an attack there, as soon as I was jumping, so... I don't know what to say about it. Get him. Even though, looks like decent against... Archers, because you can just knock them down, and after that, uh, let's see how many opponents we have here. You cannot shoot me. So we have two archers, and I guess that's a new one. We have this skill though. Okay, so we can knock them down. Come on, bro, you are really chasing me now. Yeah, he's like, nah, I don't, I'm not really happy with this. Because put it like this, so you can get hit by him while you are doing this. Which is like not very funny. Depends on who is hitting you, if the opponents have like in, insane damage, most probably we'll, we're gonna end up dying. Oh my god, again my phone is ringing. At least this one is a friend, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna hang up on him and call him later on. Get him. Uh. Come on, man. 
Okay, so unlock this. We are in this area. Let's check the map at least. Okay, it looks like a path uh, down there. Let's see what we can find. Oh, another chest and it's not marked on the map. So I guess we have different types of chests or what the fuck. Where the fuck are you running? Let's check the map again because I, I'm not understanding why. Ah, okay. So basically you need to get closer to the, the chest basically to see them. And after... Oh, we got the Spartan shield. What's that? Yeah, the Spartan shield, bro. These look badass. I don't know, I'm all about... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but... I prefer like... I like a lot like the old... Special forces, you know what I mean? Like... Uh, Spartans, Samurais as well, you know, I love Samurais. Um, ninjas... Ninja are like... Yeah, they are like sneaky dicky motherfuckers, but still though, I respect that. Bandits. The damn bandits rob everyone walking down this road. They also got me. There. They have a come in the bush. You're a warrior. Please, you have to stop them. I will make sure they pay for this. Uh, yeah. Oh, this guy's dying. Let's see if we can use a potion. Ah. Yeah, I respect uh, even uh, even ninjas. I I don't know. Uh, back in the days, were like were like way way nice, you know, because fighting swords and you know, like what the fuck is this guy, bro? Wait a second, because we are talking. But what the fuck is this motherfucker? Let's try to. I'm not gonna let him. You attack me like I'm gonna try to keep him on distance because uh it's the first time we fight these tall guys. It's like a pump over there. I'm healing because I don't know what he's doing like. So I really don't wanna get myself healed into this. Yeah, so like I was saying, I respect the the old warriors, you know, like fighters, because they didn't have like weapons and shit like that, you know, like assault rifles, fucking pistols and machine guns and all these shits. They were like, when they were like fighting, they were like fighting, bro, you know, close combat. Target lock actually is nice, mate. I just, I pressed it just to see if. We have any targets there? I think they are archers. Oh, another level. More more. So, let's try to attack this one. We need to regenerate some energy. Getting this. Dodge this. But I actually like the. I actually like the spear, you know? It's decent. It's slow, you know? Don't get me wrong, it's slow. You can get hits in between. Why Why I'm again exploring? I'm exploring too much. Um, yeah, so it's like quite slow. I, I, that's my... F this is the only good attack like, you know, which is like fast. And this is like a zone attack. Reminds me of zone attacks from For Honor, right? If you played For Honor, you know what I mean? Because I saw you have this on... Uh, on uh, swords again. What the fuck? Bro, why this? Wait, why am I using this? Because this weapon is way better. And let's sacrifice this. Yeah, so. This is a... 82 plus 10. And the spirit is 73. And what's the other one? Wait a second, wait a second. Because I want to see what's the 
home more damage. What the bro? What the fuck? Earlier this was 81. Now it's 57. And now this is 51 as well. What the fuck is going on? We cannot use dual wheel with us. Damn. Now this one is higher. I don't get it, like. I really don't get it. Let me equip again this spear. Let's attack a, a more boss. Oh, wait, because we have a shrine in which... We almost passed it without unlocking it. Yes, so let me see what's going on here, guys. I don't understand. Okay, now it's again 82. Bro, I think I know what's going on. If you use it with a shield. Okay, I get it. Huh? So if you use, let me see. If now I'm equipping this. It's 82. But if I'm attacking now, but why this are like those? Ah, okay. Yeah, because depends on what weapon do you have in the main hand. Okay, I get it. Yeah. So now this is 57. Okay, this is 51. Yeah, uh, I don't know who game tested this game in particular, but the game testers were like shit on this. Because basically the weapons are not upgrading in real time when you equip them. Uh, you need to have a couple of swings and after that the weapons are like really updating their numbers, I guess. So yeah, let's do this. Let's equip a shield, let's equip this one with this one. Because now... Okay, yeah. Okay. Let's see if the numbers are changing again. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. I guess the numbers dropped. Let me attack a bit more because I don't understand what's wrong with this game. Now both of them are on the same damage. Uh, this game is awkward. I really don't understand the... This place looks like a I, I, it's not like I don't understand. The embers are still smoldering. The fire must have occurred recently. I hope the smith is safe and sound. Maybe I can find him somewhere here. Marvelous, we reached the, the smith and the smith is not here, so... Another cat. I hope it's an achievement. By petting all of them. Or something. Pet the pussy. That sounds uh, funny in a way. Depend how you look on look on it. You know what I mean? Tunts. <laughs> Such an idiot though. It's because I'm hungry, that's why I guess. What the fuck? Get out of here! With these targets, we can test a lot with this target. Let's see the tower. Boom. 58, 57. Now let's test. So we're gonna equip this 58, 57 one. Well, let's see. 81, 41.
Close up. She's doing more damage. Not a lot. It's 58, 57 equals like 1, 1, 5. And 80, let's check again. Stop one. <laughs> he has nice attacks. This guy is funny. Why just 81, bro? It was 81, 42, I guess. So we get on 120 and a bit. But the issue now is like the attacks are like way slower. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. We're gonna test more in the next episode, cause right now. I thought that monster would tear me to shreds. Where did you learn how to do this? The soldier does not forget how to fight. I passed by a destroyed forge along the way. Do you know what happened to the smith? Yes, unfortunately I do. My name is Firtas. It so happens that I'm his apprentice. I will tell you everything of how it happened, but I still need your help. What's the matter? I need to retrieve my master's old tools. They should be in those ruins, not far from here, but the place, it instills me with fear. By the way, I can see that you could use some new equipment. If you bring me these tools, I can teach you a couple tricks of the trade. What do you say? So be it. I shall look for them. You're a lifesaver. We will meet near the smith. But first, I'll make sure there are no maggots around. Okay, so... Uh, apparently he needs his tools back. That's right. I can rest by. What are these? They are so well blended. It's planned. Yeah, let's test on them a bit. So, one twenty-eight sixty-five. Yeah, it's way better than... Is this the spear? 147. Really the best. We want the attack money here. Let's make her attacker. Come on, man. And... 9191, 180. 82 basically, so... Let me see a bit of difference. 182 and now... Bro, the difference is not big. Like, not extremely big difference. I couldn't see the number. 128 with 65. Okay now. We have one more there. They are so well blended. I was I was looking on this, I didn't even realize <laughs> it's a plant there, bro. They can be fucking dangerous. Let me heal. So let's Yeah, fucking hell and he's creating now, you know what I mean? Yeah I Thing. Let me lock this one. I don't. Re I I didn't saw all his moves. Like maybe he will charge onto us or something. Okay, One twenty-eight, forty-eight. Oh, fuck! Obviously, he's knocking us down. Let's test on him. Eighty-one. 41. Let's be sure about the yeah, 81 41. 81 41 is like 122, yeah. 122 with that. And. Bro, you're gonna kill me, it's tough. 58, 57. Bro, it's kinda. Yeah, it's it's slightly bad. This is like 115 against 120, you know, 120. 
Those 122. But at least these ones are fast, you know what I mean? So. Okay, that, that attack is like knocking you down. He's hugging as well. Stop going down the ground, man. He's still better than the spear. Like when I see creeps. How the fuck? Got 43. I guess because he was attacking us. Bro, that's a nice detail. Oh, we have two, two points in this pen. Go even more on this. Let's see the skill tree. Here. Two more levels and we have the, the potions like. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh, thanks for your patience and thanks again for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care.